up you guys it's your girl queen toss crime and i'm back again with another video shout out to all my old and new subscribers shout out to all my members and my moderators i love it i appreciate y'all quick announcements um i do know about the new jelani day video that was just put out um i'm going to do that video in the morning we're gonna break that down there's red flags, there are questions, and it sparks more questions. So we're going to break that down together, you guys, tomorrow. So be expecting that video to drop tomorrow. We're breaking down Jelani Day in the morning. That new video raises a lot of questions, a lot of red flags. Stay tuned for that. Also, I have a Kanika Jenkins update coming up. Stay tuned for that. Okay? Red flags, questions. Stay tuned, y'all. I have a Daniel Robinson video. Stay tuned for that. He's still missing to this day. There's a lot going on out here. We got to stay woke together. We got this. All right, so this video right here, we're going to, um, it's concerning a Mon Ivory case. We're going to talk about this district attorney. And the main aspect and point of this video is to, is to show cover-ups are real. Now, not every case is a cover-up. Not every victim or death situation is a cover-up. Not every murder is a cover-up. But there are cover-ups. And there are a lot of them, okay? Some we may have even overlooked and not have seen and not have paid attention to, but there are cover-ups out here. Former Georgia District Attorney booked on charges of obstructing a my eyebrows case, all right? This article was released November the 25th, okay? And the source is CBS. A former Georgia district attorney has been booked on charges linked to her alleged mishandling of the case of Amaya Ivory, a black man who was pursued and gunned down as he jogged through a Brunswick neighborhood last year. And this is former Glenn County District Attorney Jackie Johnson. She's 49. She was arrested and booked for violation of oaths and obstruction in the Amaya Arbor case. She was indicted by a grand jury. And that's her mugshot. Okay. Ex Glenn County District Attorney Jackie Johnson turned herself in to the Glenn County Sheriff's Office. That Wednesday morning, she reports that the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, after a grand jury returned an indictment on counts of obstruction and violations of oath by a public officer last week, Johnson was released from the Glenn County Detention Center on the $10,000 bond. In my opinion, that bond should have been higher than $10,000. For one, you knew what you was doing. You took an oath. You know the law. You knew exactly what you was doing. Therefore, your bond should have been higher than $10,000. That's just 10% of that that you need to get out. State prosecutors alleged that she used her position to delay arrest of the white men who chased and killed the 25-year-old Aubrey. And she did. She used her position, her job, her authority, her connections, her white privilege to delay the arrest of the McMichaels. Once again, it's money, power, and who you know. Father and son, Greg and Travis McMichael, armed themselves with guns and gave chase in a pickup truck on February 23, 2020, 
after they spotted Aubrey running in the neighborhood just outside the port city of Brunswick. There's a handsome photo of Ahmaud Aubrey. A neighbor, William Rody Bryant, joined the chase and took cell phone video of Travis McMichael fatally shooting Aubrey at close range with a shotgun as Aubrey fought back with his fist. No weapon, just his fist. Fight or flight. The McMichaels told police they thought Aubrey was a burglar and that Travis and Michael shot him in self-defense. No arrests were made in the shooting until more than two months later, after the cell phone video leaked online, sparking a national outcry and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation took over the case. Now, when you do shoot someone, even if you an officer, they have to take your gun, they have to do an investigation. You got to go down, make a statement. You can't just go shooting people and you don't get detained. That 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 don't that doesn't happen, y'all. And if it does happen, there's a cover up. There's who you know and strings involved in that. The McMichaels and Bryant's are now jailed as they await trial on murder charges. Now, for those who know the trial is over, we are waiting for them to be sentenced. Okay. <clears throat> but the trial is over. They were all guilty. All three men. Brian and then both McMichaels are found guilty. Now, what they are doing is waiting for the sentencing. Just to keep y'all in the know. Johnson has insisted she did nothing wrong. Saying she immediately recused her office from handling the case. Because Greg McMichael had been an employee. Well, Johnson, we the people say you did more than recuse yourself. You gave instructions before you recused yourself. You should have just recused yourself. Soon Greg McMichael phoned you and told you he needed your advice. You should have said, I cannot give you an advice and recuse yourself. You didn't do that. You gave him advice, and you also used your legal ties, your power, your authority for directions and told the office what to do, what not to do. Then you recuse yourself. That's not how it works, Johnson. That's not how it works. That's illegal. You broke the law. Still, Aubrey's parents and their attorneys have long accused the ex-district attorney of trying to help the young man's killers avoid prosecution, which she did. You are telling the officers do not arrest him? Yesterday was a very huge win. Wanda Cooper Jones, Aubrey's mom, told reporters last week after indictment was announced. I'm speechless. Unfortunately, Ahmad is not here with us today. But losing a mod, it will change some things here in the state of Georgia. Johnson would face one to five years in prison if convicted of violating her oaths of office. The obstruction charge is a misdemeanor, punishable by up to a year in jail. Yes, she should get. Ain't no one to five. She needs to get five years. She needs to get jail time. And I also questioned some of those officers that was there that day. That gave, didn't even try to render aid to Aubrey. They was too busy dealing with these gentlemen right here. That was their focus. They should have been trying to render aid. Have them put up their pistols, render aid until the ambulance got there. But once again, this shows who matters, who's important.
And the officers, some of those officers are guilty just as Johnson is. But yes, Johnson, she played a very huge part, a very huge part in Greg calling you, you talking to him, giving him advice, telling him what to do for him and his son. Then you make some phone calls. Get the word, send the word out not to arrest them, and then you recuse yourself. You're not slick, Johnson. That's why you you, you got indicted. This is an example of power, white privilege, money, who you know, cover-ups. Cover-ups. Big, in this case, who you know. He called Miss Johnson. She then pulled her strings of power and authority to call in a word. Do not arrest him. While there is a dead young man lying in the street. We just supposed to take their word. We're supposed to just take their law enforcement history. Before there was even a investigation done. Johnson was trained. She knows the law. She was a district attorney. She know from right from wrong. She know what she was supposed to do when she was not supposed to do. What do people say? Jail time, Johnson. Jail time. No matter what position, or even if you are, worked, have worked, and are working with law enforcement, if you do something wrong, you should be held accountable too. No one is above the law. Not me, not you. No one. And if you as a district attorney can call shots like that and don't get reprimanded for that, no jail time, and there is a dead man laying on the ground, what does that say? So you have to. You had to be indicted. And shout out to Aubrey Mama. She did her research. A lot of them are connected in Brunswick. A lot of them know each other, work together. Strings of cover-ups, favors for favors. And that's what happened. IOUs, favors. Oh, he worked with me. He was a good guy. Just because you worked with somebody, you know somebody, doesn't mean you know their morals, their standards. And these men, especially the Michaels, had a deep hatred in their heart. So, Ms. Johnson, I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth your career. I hope it was worth your job. And I hope you do jail time for what you did. And there needs to be an example set here. No one's above the law. You can't call shots on who gets arrested and who doesn't? That's not your call to make. All right, you girl, Queen Talk Crime, I'm out. Cover ups. Cover ups. Cover ups are real. I want y'all to know that. Cover ups.